Well, good morning, everybody. This is Raven Star. Well, I just wanted to check in with everybody and say, hey, good morning. It's time for the morning coffee. Of course, we, you know, we got our day started along uh, about 5 o'clock this morning. Usually a little after 4 when we get up, but thank goodness we got to sleep in just a little bit. But, mm, sorry about that. Coffee's good, man. Coffee's good. But I just wanted to touch base with everybody and say, hey, and how you been? How's your last couple weeks been? How's your last month been? Um, we getting busy. You know, it's, here it is the first day of March. And we're thinking about, you know, we, we're thinking about what seeds we need to plant, getting our garden ready, you know, because it, it's about that time. Growing season is almost a bonus. So you need to get your seeds started, get them planted to get them sprouting, sprout your seeds early, you know. Because, you know, the, it's like, I think it's like the first week before Mother's Day is when you need to have all your, you know, the seeds that you need to get started, started and sprouted. Like your tomatoes. You know, your beans can go right in the ground, whether they be pole beans or bush beans. Uh, you don't have to sprout. You don't have to sprout like your, your, your brassicas and stuff. You know, you don't have to sprout your, you know, like your turnip greens and your broccoli. Those are the brassicas and stuff. Um, you don't have to sprout your cauliflower. I mean, you just don't have to. If you want to, go ahead. But you don't, I think those are direct, so... I'm not sure on that. I had to have to look on package, but I think they're direct. So, just like your uh, squashes, you know, your squash, you, those are direct. So you just put them right in the ground. Anyway, it is, uh, you know, like I said, getting a big growing season. So we're getting our seeds together, finding out what fertilizer we want to use for our ground. Um, you know, the, what's you need to take, you know, if you got too much nitrogen, too much, you know, uh, all the different stuff that you need to grow your ground. You know, you know grow your seeds from in the ground. Um, also, this year, we're incorporating chickens. And I'm so super excited about the chickens because they're little bitty peeps right now. Now, I don't know what y'all call them, but I call them peeps down here in Tennessee. They're peeps. Or they're biddies, itty biddies, biddies. Um, up in Virginia, we always called them diddles. They were diddles. <laughs> that was just the cutest name I ever heard. Uh, but they're just adorable. And um, I believe they're called, the ones that we call are called Sapphire Jim. We got them from our local tractor supply. Um, we've got them here under the heat lamp and you know you got to get the correct feed for your new little babies um, we're basically raising we wanted to raise chickens for meat chickens you know if I happen to name one or two and want to keep one or two I might get a rooster <laughs> but right now they're all hens <laughs> nine times out of ten I'll get attached you know to one of them you know that's just the normal flow for me um, which is okay, I mean, but these are basically for meat chickens, and, you know, we're, we're wanting to, you know, try to be as self-sufficient as we possibly can, you know, I mean, we still have the normal stuff, but like everybody else does, we still pay our bills, we still have electric bills, you know, and we still have internet payments, we still, you know, thank goodness right now, we don't have a vehicle payment, but that's beside the point, we might have one them in the near future, but, Hopefully not right now. We just maintain our vehicles that we have. Maintenance is very important on your vehicles. Keep your oil changed. Um, you know, you gotta keep your tune-ups done. You know, such as that. But we're we're just been really super busy. Like this morning, I got up. My husband and I had breakfast. He got ready for work. Had coffee. Sit and talked. Watched a little YouTube. Watched a little. You know, a few of the shows that we like, um, and then off to work he went, and I cleaned out the the chicken where the where I got the little bitties, the, the little diddles right now. There, I had to clean out the box and change their water, clean out their water dish, 
you know, your kids, you, we have them inside right now because it's still too cold for them to be outside. They're brand new, you know. So you've got to keep them in the house with a heat lamp on them for right now. And you've got to make sure you got the right food for them. Some people, you know, it, it's like they, they have different types of feed. They like to feed them. And, but we're, you pick out the feed for your little babies what you want to do. So I'm not going to go into that because most people, you know, they agree to disagree. You know, they or they want to slam you for what you're feeding them. And that's okay too, man, to eat your own, you know. You raise your chickens the way you raise your chickens. I'll raise mine the way I'll raise mine. But I'm super excited about this, you know. And, um, hey, eggs is an extra added benefit. I'll agree with that. I love fresh eggs. And um, finding out ways to uh, preserve our eggs to keep them long term. You know, because I've heard a few things like, you know, uh, don't wash your eggs, you know, clean them off, but don't wash them. This, you can keep them out on the counter. You don't have to refrigerate them with that, but as long as you're using them, you know, uh, they last for a couple weeks out on the counter, you don't have to worry about that. Um, and we don't have a freeze dryer, but you can freeze dry your eggs. I really love to have a freeze dryer. Harvest Right has a real good one that I would love to have. It's a four shelf freeze dryer. Um, it's, it's pretty pricey, you know, but that's okay. I mean, eventually I'll get there and be able to get me one. I'll be able to do that one. Um, I do have dehydrators though, but you don't dehydrate eggs really good, so <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> But that's okay too. Not unless, you know, not unless you figure out a way to do that. But, you know, I mean, I think they're too wet for that. Unless you cook them first, then maybe you can dehydrate them. I have to check in on that. I have to read up on dehydrating that after you cook your eggs. Scramble them up. Um, but no, this is what we're doing. Uh, we actually bought a shed, a metal shed. And we're going to turn, we're making this into our chicken coop. You know, you got to put up your perches and your, and your uh, set boxes and stuff. And, you know, and we're going to fence it in, you know, because we, we got chicken hawks here, y'all. But, um, you know, there's other predators. So, but we're undecided whether or not we're going to put in uh, a floor to it or we're just going to leave it on the ground, you know. I don't know what we're going to do about it. At that point in time but um, really looking forward to this really looking forward to this I'm excited I've been like I said I got up and I changed out their box probably repeating myself at this point but I'm, I'm really excited I got up and I changed out their box and I cleaned out their little water bowl and put fresh water in and fresh feed in you know because they were running low 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 on their feed because we only have ten of them right now so so I wanted to start them off to see how much they're consuming in a day's time, depending on how much I put in their bowl. So, you know, but you got to have a continuous feed going there and continuous water going there because they're little, they're growing. They'll eat, they'll eat all day long when they ain't sleeping and when they ain't drinking, and they drink all day long. So you got to keep fresh feed. You got to keep fresh water and fresh bedding, you know, because otherwise. I, we've brought them in here because, like I said, it's too cold outside to have them outside. And they're too little right now, you know. And because uh, we don't have adults with them. We don't have no adult chickens. So we're just beginning. So we'll see how this goes. Now our bees, yeah, you know, we got to start our one-to-one -one feed on our bees. You know, it's March 1st here, so one-to-one -one feed on our bees. Bees are still doing good. Uh, we did have a swarm, but then we went and bought new bees. And brought them in and they've, they've overwintered really good you know time will tell this is first of March you know we're hoping they you know if we can get their feed to them they won't swarm um, or die out we're you know like I said you know this is the second year with our bees so you know we're still flying by the city of our pants we're learning everything we can about the bees um, we did get a little bit of honey last year, not much, but we did get a little honey last year, which is fine. You know, you just, Rome wasn't built in a day. You got to learn to crawl before you can walk. Um, but we're getting there. We're getting there. And um, I still like to do, you know, I still like to go on my walks. I still like to go, 
you know, hit the graveyards and the cemeteries and the, that that's not been used in a lot, you know, that nobody's been buried in in years. You know, I love the older cemeteries and stuff. Unfortunately, I still don't have nobody to go with, so I have to go during the daylight hours. I can't go and, and you know, and do the do my investigation through the evening because of it's not really good for you know by yourself to go by yourself. You uh, you need somebody with you. You need to tag team with somebody to hit the cemeteries. Um, so I really wouldn't want to do that no way. It's better with more people that goes with you. <laughs> It's just better that way. <laughs> and, um, but yeah, this, I, I mean, I still like to do that. There's still other things I like to do. And, um, I still like to find old buildings. You know, there's a whole bunch of people that go around and they have, uh, all these beautiful pictures of all these buildings that have been abandoned. And I would like to do that. But like I said, i got to find somebody to go with me because, you know, there's hardly anybody that wants to do that that's around my age because they're like, oh, that creeps me out. Why do you do that? You know, and I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm old, but I'm not dead yet. <laughs> you know, I'm getting there, but I'm not dead yet. I still want to do this. So, um, these are things I like to do. And uh, still got, you know, still got someone I need to do. I've been the biggest procrastinator of all with that sewing, and I gotta get it done because there's several people waiting on things that I want to get it done and get them to them. So I'll get there one day at a time, one day at a time. But anyway, I'm gonna get off there, off here, have my finish having my coffee now that I've got these chickens taken care of and my puppy dog. He's outside running around the fence and. I got the bigger chickens out back fed because my sister's chickens like to, you know, she's free ranging. So they come up in my yard. I got chicken feed over. I got, I got green and scratch for them. <laughs> That's probably why they keep coming in my yard. Because <laughs> I keep, y'all, I love animals. You know, I even feed the squirrels. You know. I just love all the animals. I even like snakes. Won't have one in my house now, that's a no. You know, and if I see a spider outside that's kind of web, you know, it's like, if I could, you know, if I got a fly or something, I'll throw it in its web to, so I can have your food. You know, that's a spider. They're outside. They ain't gonna hurt you. They're necessity. So, well, listen, I will get off here. Y'all have a good day. Have, and, and call your mamas and your papas. Tell them you love them. And if you got kids and grandkids, call them, tell them you love them. And just enjoy your day, y'all. What are y'all doing? But, you know, like and subscribe to my channel. You know, share it on all your social media. I appreciate it. I really, really do. Every little bit helps. Well, listen, y'all have a good day. And I'll talk to you later. Peace out. <laughs>